Somebody's asking about, can a Muslim marry a non-Muslim? Can a, mar a Muslim marry a non-Muslim? The general answer is no. Just if you want a fast answer on that, it's no. Allah alam. But here's why. When you say a non-Muslim, you've included everybody that's not Muslim. That includes atheists, Buddhists, Hindus, everything. Allah said in the Quran, it's believers marrying believers. When there are special occasions that occur, there is permission and it has limits. Islam has a concept that's very nice called rights and limits. Rights, but limits. <coughs> Even though the Sahabi, radiallahu anhu ajmain, traveled all the way to China, they traveled all the way into Spain, across the northern part of Africa, they, uh, Islam went everywhere. But even though they went to all these places, they were not allowed to marry the women unless the women became believers. They had to be believers. Even when Allah speaks about the Ahl Kitab, the women from them, there's two conditions there that are real clear. They have to be believers in the book and they have to be virgins. And here in Australia, <laughs> I heard about the beach in the summertime. Okay, forget about it. <laughs> the reality is, many times I've visited so many communities. I visit three or four communities every week, 52 weeks a year. So after visiting maybe 300 communities, 400 communities every single year, I'm telling you, it's absolutely the same problem over and over and over. When I'm getting ready to leave, a brother always comes up to me, brother, I need to talk to you in private. Brother, I need to talk to you in private. I just got to ask you one thing. See, I got to talk to you, please, please. And then we step over to the side, and the first words from his mouth is, see my wife, she's not a Muslim, and here's my problem. I said, no, no, you already told me the problem. You just told me the problem. Your wife's not a Muslim, because it's going to get worse. Do you have any children? No. And I said, then just get away quick before you do. Because if you're already having problems, you think it's going to get better after you have children? No. No, it's not. You cannot make these women become believers. A lot of men think they can do that. A lot of men have this idea that they're some kind of macho, you know, religious wonder who are, they're going to just do amazing things, and this girl is going to convert to Islam. And by the way, he doesn't even pray. <laughs> or barely, you know. He doesn't even know how to make a loop. And now he's going to go out here and grab this girl, and he's going to twist her brain around, and she's just going to fall in love with him, and he's going to lead her straight to Allah. <laughs> <laughs> this is really sad. And if they have children, it gets even worse. There is really no Islamic state on earth today. There is no Khalifa. There's no Islamic state. You cannot really and truly guarantee that you are able to give the proper rights to your wife or to your children when you try to do this kind of thing, when you marry a woman that's not a Muslim. Even if she's Ahl Kitab. Because, and I have talked to some of these women. Alhamdulillah, some of them will enter Islam, and that's beautiful. But for those who don't enter into Islam, what happens, they wind up resenting the husband. They start working against him. They start figuring ways to mess him up so that he won't pray. Or that he won't fast. They'll cook something. Oh, I forgot you're fasting, but I made this meal. Why don't you go ahead and eat it? They'll purposely expose him to things, trying to get him away from the dean. They become shaitan to him. 
And when they have children, they use that against him. I'm not saying every woman does that, but that's the rule. It's not the exception. So if you find a woman that's a real believer, that really follows her book, that's great. But I doubt you're going to find one who's that religious who wants to come over and marry a terrorist, you know. <laughs> I got to wonder about that. Because they believe there's something wrong with us. Why would they be coming over to us? Huh? I remember one sheikh was talking about a brother brought a lady to him. This was in upstate New York. The imam was saying that here comes this brother, brings the lady in, and he says, she's Ahl Kitab, we want to get married. He said, okay, step out of the room. He goes, huh? He said, I want to talk to her. Step out of the room. So he said he started talking to her. He asked her, he said, uh, you're a Christian? She said, oh, more or less. He said, um, okay, you go to church? Nah. You read the Bible? No. Do you pray? Nah. Do you know the Ten Commandments? What's that? Can you read the Lord's Prayer? Uh, yeah. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep, or something like that, right? It's not even close, by the way. That's what little kids say. So this is a girl, no clue, right? Just Christian by name. He brought the brother back in. And he said, okay, I can't do this marriage. He said, Achi, she's Ahl Kitab, Ahl Kitab. He said, Ahl Checkbook. <laughs> yeah, watch out. It's not going to benefit her, and it's not going to benefit you to have a marriage like that. You don't want to make her miserable. Let her go her way.